What's up YouTube? Back at it again working on a 05 Nissan Frontier and today I'm doing the valve cover gasket and also the spark plugs. It's a four cylinder so it's not going to be as involved but um, first we got to get off the air intake system. So we got to remove all this and whatever connecting lines and hose that's connected to it we got to remove. I've already got these two bolts out 10 millimeters already got this loose pop that out and this whole piece comes off now once you got that aside gotta take this one off hose clamps loose those Lose this one. Uh, we're going to disconnect this line here. Take it off from right here in the back. Okay, so I just grabbed it with a long nose flyer. Grab the clamp. Pull it off. And then just reach in. Pop that out. Remove it from this clip right here. It's normally in like so. Pop that out. And just back at the front, remove the whole assembly. Now there are also some connectors that gotta get unplugged. We got one here, one there. And one right here. There we go. Have that unplugged. This one unplugged. And for the third one, instead of unplugging it, I just remove the tabs. This slides in from the bottom like so. You just squeeze the top of the tabs, push it downwards, and get that loose. Now we come back around to the side and this line gotta come off. So I take it off from the bottom right here. Disconnector, unplug. Actually this one, I believe this one stays, but I'll see as I go along. And um this line right here gets taken off, this hose actually. Okay, so instead of taking this one off from the bottom there, I just went up top and I'm taking it off up top instead. Got the clamp pulled back, pull the wire out, snap it from the hook right here. We just bring this back out of the way. Just let it sit right there. And this line, this is already off. It's just hanging there. Uh, just bring this back and try to tuck it in get it out of the way and then back in the front again we get these two hoses off pull that back pull this back we should be able to pull them out you may see a little coolant but um it's not enough that you got to set a bucket or anything now if you're having a hard time taking any of these uh, hoses off I'll show you um, another plier that you could use it's actually a hose plier that you could use to take them off and this is what it looks like and you could get these from Harbor Freight it don't matter if it's a cheap brand or an expensive brand I find they all works the same but I put this hose back on just for demonstration purposes if you're trying to 
take one of these uh, holes off and you have let's say a set of these pliers they come in like maybe three different sizes you find the size that matches the closest size that matches with the holes you put it on after you remove the clamp you put it on the holes you squeeze it gent gently and you twist it and as you twist it you're breaking the hose loose from whatever crud or any kind of friction that's holding it and once you break it loose you could use the same hose to pull it off or you could use your hand to pull it off and it's not going to damage anything now I got what I believe is just one more hose which is this one so I use the same hose plier to get this one off okay here's the fun part now we got to remove some nuts and bolts so if you come on the passenger side that's with the ear box off the ear filter and all of that's off and you go downwards you're gonna see there's a stud right there that's got to get removed then there's one bolt two bolts three bolts and then all the way on the opposite end is another stud another nut actually that's on the stud you gotta remove once you take that off that side we go on the passenger side and we gotta take this bolt off it's at the bottom actually we try to get a better angle this one right here we take that off and we take the others off on the opposite side and give you a reference where it is it's it's right here so once you take that off and the five on the opposite side then this whole intake plenum comes off uh, as you're taking it off be careful just do it very gently make sure there's nothing else attached that needs to get you know that you need to unplug or any hoses that that's hung up and once you get that off I'll, uh, I'll just cut to that while I do that and come back with a video actually just to give you an idea 12 millimeter socket on a maybe what a four inch extension you go in from the side and you can see the stud I took the nut off already but you just go right over it and it comes straight out take that off this is it right here magnet tray and you could actually put it in the order you took it off so I got it here these are the two bolts from um, from the intake so I got these on the side so that's the first one from the front of the front of the engine that's the first nut now we got to do the bolts So normally I try to cut through footage, but um, this part you actually need a, a mirror to see. So I'm using the camera as my mirror. And you could also see what I'm doing. So from above, go in. Here it goes right there, the bolt. socket it's on get your drive on this end and you 
back it out. Got that out. Now we gotta go to this one. As you can see, from the this is the front of the engine. So first one, second one. I'm gonna go in order: third, fourth, fifth. So when it's going back on, that everything is going back where they were. So everything's gone from this side. Two, three, four, five. And that's the layout. So the first one in the front, second one, third one, fourth one, fifth one. Now the other side on this side of the engine is just one bolt pretty much that's got to get taken out now once you get this bolt out from this uh, bracket right here and it's a short one so that's it right here you get that out slide the whole intake a little to the left so you could pick it up just a little bit and the top of that bracket is just a rubber that sits in a groove. You could uh, twist it and pull it out. That's what it looks like. So that's why we only had to remove the bottom bolt. The top one is just, you could see the groove. It slides right up now there's also one more hose actually I forgot to remove and it's this one right here comes all the way goes around and goes down right here but then again it's so much slack in it that I'm just gonna leave it. I'm gonna take the unit off and just lay it on the side. Now you gotta be careful pulling it apart once you start removing it. Because there you can see the injectors. If you look down, those are the injectors. So you wanna be careful. They're not gonna touch. They got a lot of clearance. So just be careful when you picking the unit out. Got it halfway off, and these two connectors do have to come off. This one, and the one that we disconnected, gotta take that apart. It's actually just a push tab, push on the tab right here, and pull it apart. Now that's what it looks like with everything off. Just gotta remove the coils, 10 millimeter bolts, disconnect them. One, two, three, four. Pop the coils out, take the plugs out, replace the plugs. In my case, I'm doing the valve cover gasket. You can see all the oil leak on both sides. This side is actually worse. So in my case, I'm taking the wire harness, moving it out of the way. Just look for all the bolts and wire ties and connectors that connect it. Take all that off, slide it out of the way. You remove all the bolts that hold down the valve cover same on the other side so you got one two three four I believe there's like three in the back or one in the back and another one right here take those off and the cover should come right off okay so I got everything off the harness um, 
get rid of two other things. Now I put new bolts, the valve cover is back on, brand new gasket, new bolts. Spark plugs are back in, one, two, three, and four. Got the cords back on, all plugged up. Uh, while I'm at this stage, I figure I'll also change the uh, intake manifold gaskets. So as you can see, I cleaned the surface up. And here, those are the original gaskets. I'll just clean all this up. Try not to touch the uh, fuel injectors. Probably put some tape over it or a little piece of plastic with a rubber band just to prevent it from getting scratched or sprayed with any kind of cleaner and um, take these gaskets out and I got me some new ones here and that's the part number that's for the four cylinder 2.5 model um, that's the part number for the intake uh, manifold gaskets now it's not really required to put any kind of sealant uh, around the gasket. You could just put the gasket in, put it on. The only spot that is recommended for is right here, where it goes from a flat surface and then it actually goes flat here, then it goes up, curve, and goes back down. Now you put you can see right here put some sealant right at the spot where it's not flat anymore and it's starting to curve up once it goes up to that flat spot put a little bit there and the same on the other side that's the other side starts going coming back down and you can see sealant and it's actually this the one I use it's actually what's recommended but you could do um, your own research the ultra gray rigid high torque RTP silicone that's the item number right here and it's made by Permatex and that's made for um, you could put it on uh, valve cover gaskets and a few other things. It says it right here in the description. So to change the intake manifold gaskets, I just use a pick, get in there, pry it out, and from here, just grab this little tab and pull out. And you just want to match it up with one of your new ones. Make sure it's the right ones before you take all of them out. And what I am going to do is get a piece of um, paper towel. I'm just going to spray a little bit of brake clean on it, on the paper towel. Fold it and get it in the groove like so. And just clean inside that groove where the new gasket is going to sit. That way it gives it a nice tight fit. And that's the new one in perfect fit so now I could do the other three and if you look you could see how much higher it sits so we're insured of um, no leaks no vacuum leaks and there we go we got all four on so now it's just to mount everything back Give her a crank over and she'll be good to go. Now we just gotta make sure that the that the stud sits in the hole in the front and this metal bracket is like a little recessed area that it snaps in. That's in and it's hard to tell but same thing in the back. Make sure all the gaskets are on line everything up 
very gentle and then slowly slide it in so now we just want to check you could see the stud sitting through the uh, metal bracket in the front all these other holes line up perfectly and in the rear same thing you could see the stud right there sitting through the metal bracket so at this point I'll just grab the nut for the studs and put the two studs in the two nuts in by hand just to hold it so it doesn't move I'll come on the opposite side and I fit this bracket back in now this bracket call taking it off dropping all kind of tools here it sits right in that little groove right there so it's gonna go in and sit in that little groove might not be able to do it with one hand but I'll try no it's not gonna happen I need both hands for it but you get the idea and then it's gonna get bolted right there that hole so now I got the studs in front rear and on this side have that bracket is held in at the bottom seat it in at the top not sure if you see that but seat it in at the top and before I start tightening everything down what I'm gonna make sure of is I'm gonna make sure that all my hoses my connectors one down here make sure everything is is where they should be nothing is uh, pinched or kinked and once that's fine put all the bolts in put the other I believe it's three bolts the other three bolts in here button it all back up and that should be it okay so everything is all top down start right here first bolt second one third fourth and then we have the other stud right here all the connectors are back on this connector down here these three from doing the taking off the valve cover we have hoses snap back in our other hose is back on this hose connector we have this connector back that's plugged back in we have our one hose right here got a just got to put this clamp back on one above it same thing and um, that bolt that's in that's tight that's just oil from where it was leaking before I got a pressure wash this side of the engine everything looks good so once I put those two clamps back on I could throw the gearbox put that on and crank her up all right so got those last two hose clamps on like I say everything looks good
everything is cleaned up battery connected no tools left behind piece of paper towel but that's out of the way all right so now we start her up and see This one's a manual, so neutral, clutch, here we go. Nice, sounds good. Still in neutral, he breaks up, let's go back around. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.